The world is the, offers uh, a, a moment in time when we can celebrate what's been achieved and also think ahead of what we, what we still need to tackle. And while there's so much to celebrate on this world is the I think also there's a lot to celebrate in terms of all the science, all the research that's ongoing, that is positioning all of us as a global community to be able to stem this epidemic. And HPTN 084 is a critical study that's part of this uh, ethnic scientific agenda. World AIDS Day has, is, is an opportunity for us to kind of reflect on what's transpired in the past more than now 30 years. What's really interesting is in terms of HIV treatment and prevention, things change pretty dramatically every 10 years. In 1988, we had virtually no treatment for HIV. By 1998, we were giving, first we got one drug and then we were giving 16 pills a day. And then in roughly 2006, 2007, 2008, we went to one pill a day for treating HIV. And then we saw really massive improvements in HIV prevention. With treatment is prevention, with behavior change activities. Um, and now 2017, 18, the notion we're focusing on it, long acting injectable agents, they weren't available five years ago. So this is the next kind of every 10 year change and we're really excited about kind of doing the research that might introduce the next big thing in 2017, 2018, 2019.